Okay, um, my topic was going to be about being racist and discrimination. So, have you ever, I hope you guys, all of you, have a best friend. And have you ever looked at your friend different because he likes something different, he looks different, he likes to dress up different? Well, I hope you don't. Well, I, that's what I don't do. So, I have, the year was 2007. My best friend, he was having, you know, um, you know, he has a boyfriend, he's a guy, but he was afraid to tell everybody, you know, because right now, you know, what people think about it and all that. So nobody knew, and one day we just went to a fair, and the guy came, you know, to see him. And I was like, okay, you know. And he just laughed at me, and I was like, I don't care. I don't care, you know, it's your life. I think everybody has the opportunity to be happy. So now he feels, like, really comfortable with me because I'm really open-minded, and I... I believe everybody has a chance to be happy, no matter who they are, how they look, what they like, or what they like to do. So, the, um, the problem is being racist. A lot of people, I have like real bad experience, like my mom, she like, totally racist. She doesn't like Afro-Americans, and I don't know why. <laughs> She's just like that, and I think the problem starts when you are at home, when some people just make you believe something, make you think in some way, and they teach you in a really bad way. And sometimes it gets up to a point that it becomes a really bad problem. And I don't think um, anybody should be judged by the way they look, by the way they, they act, by the things they like to do. So my second main point would be the causes. I think education is one of the major. If you go to school and you open your mind, and you listen to the teachers, your parents, your friends, and everybody around you, you will talk, you will talk different about everything. You will have a different point of view of life, about everybody's life, and I think you will be more open-minded, like I do. I, I accept everyone like for what they are, like Abraham Lincoln said, you know, every man was created equal, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you like, what you want to do, or, you know, who you are. You are still a human being, you know. And I think in your family, if they give you enough education and think, to think about it, you know, and realize that there are so many things that really care, you have to care about, like, being happy, having a good relationship with your friends, no matter who they are. And from a third main point, the solution. I think everyone, everyone can have a solution for all their, because I believe that everyone has a think, has a, has a thought about every kind of person in this planet, you know? I believe they do, I do, I do sometimes, you know? So I believe the solution for that would be that you speak up, go look for information, and educate yourself about it, think about it, uh, study about it, uh, you know, get more information and see what you can do and why, and then think about why you are thinking that way, like I tell my mom, you know, she's always telling me, Jaman, don't go out that much, you know, don't go out too late because there can be a black guy and he can hit you, I'm out. I tell her, <laughs> I tell her, mom, come on, what a black guy can do to me, he can do to a Mexican, he can do to a Caucasian can do it everyone, you know? So don't be like that, don't tell me that a black guy can hit me because anybody can do it. So she gets mad at me because I said that, but I don't care. So, and also my cousins also, they don't like white people, I don't know why. And they're all Mexicans and they don't like Americans. And I tell them, what the hell are you doing here when you don't like some people? <laughs> <laughs> and they just get mad at me because I'm, I, th I believe I'm different than that's who I am. I just respect everyone, and I respect everyone's lifestyle, and I just like to enjoy life. And that's it.